everyone welcome to academically's another podcast session and today we are diving into a topic that's incredibly important for international medical graduates who are aspiring to practice in australia and if you have ever wondered about the process of becoming a doctor in australia like including everything from the eligibility to the amc exam cost exam centers pathways mm-hmm. and even the english language proficiency requirements you are at the right place because Because today we are going to discuss all about this, all about how you can become a registered medical doctor in Australia. And uh, obviously, I'm really, really thrilled to have Dr. Sonal once again with us. So uh, I don't need to introduce her uh, again and again because we have already done so many podcasts. But just to give you a hint, if you are new to this channel, I would like to tell you that Dr. Sonal, she is the program manager at Academically, and uh, she brings a wealth of expertise on the step-by-step journey for doctor looking to practice in Australia. So welcome Dr Sonal and thank you so much again for joining us today. Thank you so much Sunidhi. Thank you so much and it's again a pleasure to always have a conversation with you. Thank you so much Dr Sonal. So without you know any delay I would like to start with my very first question that would you like to explain us that what is the AMC exam and what are the key steps for doctors who wish to practice in Australia? Thank you, Sunidhi. So, uh, if you talk about the AMC exam, AMC stands for Australian Medical Council, right? Okay. And it's for the Indian medical graduates to work or practice in Australia. Now, this is a two-step exam to be cleared: AMC, okay. uh, MCQ, which is a multiple choice written exam, yes. and the AMC clinicals, which is the part two exam. Okay, thank you so much. So, moving to my next question, that what are the basic eligibility requirements for the international medical graduates to apply for the AMC exam? Very simple. It's just you need to have an MBBS degree from a recognized university or college from whichever country you have. And uh, the one thing which is very important for AMC is that the university name should be there in the list of World Directory of Medical Schools. If it's not okay. there, then that's a problem. But yeah, that should be there. Okay, thank you. So now I would also like to request you if you could give us an overview of the different pathways that are available for doctors who are looking to practice in Australia. So, for example, you know there is this AMC. So, do we have any other pathway, and what all pathways are available for the doctors? Uh, so, Nidhi, basically we have three pathways. Okay, the first one is the standard pathway that includes uh, you that you need to clear the AMC one, AMC two. and your english proficiency test for visa that is the first one second one is the competent pathway not talking about this pathway this requires you to clear the relevant exam and work mm-hmm. for at least 2 years in that particular country like for example you have plab for uk so after mm-hmm. you cleared plab and work for at least 2 years in uk you can right. apply for a direct work opportunity in australia okay. and the third one is the specialist pathway that means if you have completed your md mbbs mm-hmm. md and after that you have a work experience of more than or equal to 10 years then okay. you can directly apply for the job opportunities in the concerned department from which you have done your post graduation okay that's pretty much clear now so moving to my next question that uh, and i think one of the most important one because people usually have this question a lot and we get this on all our social media platforms comments and everywhere that what would be the total cost involved in this whole process like if we include the exam fees the registration and any additional costs as well so for the exam preparation fee from academically you need to connect with our counselor or appear in our free scholarship program wherein you get right. a lot of Uh, you know, uh, you know, facilities for you to migrate, and uh, for the skill assessment, that is Epic Verification is the name and portfolio building. So it will be done in uh, number one total in AUD. It is round about three four eight five Australian dollars AUD, uh, which is approximately one lakh ninety thousand Indian national. Okay, okay, that's quite good because uh, I think with the amount of salary you're gonna get and make money in Australia, that will definitely be, you know, much much higher than what you're gonna invest in this. Definitely, definitely, you're right. Right. So my next question is that what are the exam centers that are located for the AMC exam, both if we talk about Australia and internationally as well? So exam centers are available globally. It's not only about India, uh, Australia. You need to mm-hmm. check the Pearson V U E Center. Okay. Okay. So okay. what is you and all the details are available on the AMC website as well as academically website. So you can check that out. And you definitely have an AMC exam center nearby in almost many countries. Yeah. 
right so we have also heard that you know uh, they have uh, you know they are starting with more new centers like in pakistan and yes. different parts of the world so it's going to yes. be much much easier for everyone to like take up the exam if i'm not wrong right. yeah right. right so also would you like to explain us the like the whole structure of the amc exam and like what candidates can expect during the each part of this exam definitely so yeah. first we'll talk about amc part 1 Australian okay. Medical Council Part One. Now mm -hmm. this is uh, an MCQ examination. It's mm -hmm. totally computer administered examination, comprising 150 multiple choice question uh, to be completed in 3.5 hours. Okay. And if you talk about AMC Part Two, so it's a clinical exam. Earlier it used to be taken place like it used to take place in Melbourne, but okay. now uh, they have shifted it to the like online pa part because of after COVID basically. So you okay. basically have an AMC Part Two. There are 16 workstations. 14 are scored ones on which you will be getting a proper score and two are okay. unscored so you don't know which one is the unscored one it's for yeah. it's basically for a, re a reservation so that if uh, probably if you have any technical issue or something like that so they can use that particular score to you know uh, be compensated in the 14 stations so total for 16 stations 14 mm -hmm. are scored two are unscored now okay to we'll talk about each station each station is you get a case history basically with your mentor and there's a yes. patient virtually wherein you have to uh, you know give your exam so each station is 10 minutes okay okay so okay got it ha huh, it will be giving you 8 minutes for your own self evaluation like 4 minutes plus 4 minutes or 2 to 6 minutes that totally depends upon the mentor so they'll be asking you a question 2 minutes will be the reading time and then 6 minutes you have to answer Okay. 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 And got it. Between, huh, and in between the sixteen stations, you have four rest stations. So four stations rest again. Four stations rest, and it goes on. Okay. 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 That's Now, out of all that. Yeah. Out of all hmm. that, the pass score is nine. So out of the fourteen station, you have to pass in at least nine stations. Now earlier, what used to happen okay. was yeah. the passing score was ten. Out of Achha. 14, you needed to, you mm -hmm. need, you actually needed to score 10, but now it has been reduced to 9. So that's a very good news for all the AMC Part Two candidates. Now you don't have to score 10 out of like out of 14, but yes, you have to score 9 out of 14. So okay. and overall 20 stations, including so 16 workstations, four rest stations, right? Hmm. Overall 20 stations divided by 30 minutes lunch break also. Okay. And uh, AMC Part Two is conducted every month. Except December and January because of the winter break, and the applications are open thrice a year. Okay, thank you so much for the explanation. I'm sure that whosoever is watching us, us will get a clarification of this. So we have understood like each step. Now, uh, moving to my next question, that are there any specific English requirement, English language requirements? Like usually we see that in UK, US, Canada, or any country like IELTS, TOEFL, or OET. And if there is, then what would be the scores that are generally required for this exam? Yes, so Nidhi, you have an option to clear any of the three English proficiency exams. Okay. Uh, IELTS for IELTS, you need need an individual band score of seven. Okay. For OET, a minimum score of three fifty out of five hundred. And as okay. far as PB is concerned, a score of sixty five for doctors is what is beneficial. Okay, understood. Now coming to my next question, Doctor Sonal, that what are the some common challenges that mostly international medical graduates faces while preparing for the AMC exam? And if you have any like feedback suggestion to give to them, so there are no big challenges. It's just that the Indian medical graduates should be ready to work in rural and remote areas because okay. Australia is you know expanding its healthcare. So you need to you know. Know the custom of rural and remote areas. Uh, they should build their CV strong, as in no gap years or recency of work should not be missing. And right. if they have a few years of work experience in their home country, it will work very positively for them. Right, right. Thank you so much. Now, coming to my second last question and one of the most important question that why we are here, you know. So, what exactly, like, how does academically support? students or the healthcare professionals or resources what resources does academically offers to those for preparing for the amc exam and completing the whole registration process uh academically is a global healthcare organization as you all know so we cater to a lot of medical services medical science or doctors or indian medical graduates are one of the target audience definitely so we are yeah. academically provide complete preparations for the amc mcq With live classes, you also get the recorded lectures because most of them are the working professionals with us. 
uh, you get high yields you get rapid review questions you get mcqs okay. for practice and better understanding of mc paper you get a lot of reference pdfs you get handouts articles and after you clear part 1 we guide you through cv preparations and the results for jobs and the details for job search as well so it's a whole okay. heart heartedly you know uh, designed program for every indian medical graduate also global healthcare graduates not only in right. Yeah. Right. So, right. So to migrate to Australia, yes. Right. So those who wants to connect to us, please do uh, you know comment down below. Uh, you know if you want to connect to us, or you can also DM us on our any of our social media platform with your name, country code, phone number, email address, and your educational background. And our experts and our you know the whole support of academically team will connect with you and will make you understand everything in a very better way and a detailed way. We also give you a one on one free counseling session, so that's a bonus for all of you. And uh, yes, so Dr. Sonal, coming to my last question. question from you that could you please share some tips for managing the study and preparation timeline especially for doctors who are currently working like how do we manage and balance out the whole preparation along with the work that we are doing sure so ours is a course of approximately 4 months yeah. we provide 120 plus hours of live teaching then subject mocks so you need to follow our sessions check the pdfs whatever has been shared for the notes preparation of your own self because your own see we will be teaching you faculties are there all mc qualified ones but it is you who have to prepare at the end of the day so exactly. making notes is really important yeah uh, by understanding the lectures or the recorded lectures do yeah. the mocks and once done with all the topics we have self assessment tests to judge your knowledge it's an ai mm. artificial intelligence based test with which after which you give a get a detailed report of what kind of preparation you are into so okay. to judge your knowledge you can assess the self assessment test or uh, one more feature is our adaptive quiz which is okay. built exactly on the same pattern as amc so this okay. will help you give the real feel of amc mcq Definitely, for public yeah. doctors uh, it is good if they devote at least 4 to 6 hours daily and before a month some regular preparations for the exam and you can clear clear very easily amc that was really great really insightful and really informative for all the medical graduates even if i am not the medical graduate i still know after talking to you like what is the exact process and i can definitely tell it to my friends and you know family members if they wish to go to australia so thank you so much for joining us today for today's podcast dr sonal thank you so much for all the information you are welcome sunidhi glad to meet you again thank you so much so now guys if you're interested in learning more or if you want to you know understand more uh, things about the amc preparation please do reach out to us you know at academically you can also visit our website at www.academically.com you will get all the information the contact details the resources the you know all the details related to the courses so please do uh, reach out to us and we will definitely guide you and help you and please do subscribe to our channel so that you can you know uh, get all these videos on your uh, feed and you should definitely press the bell icon because then you will be getting all the updates related to the global healthcare professionals on how they can move and you know uh, settle in abroad so once again thank you so much dr sonal for giving us thank the you time. so much sunidhi thank you thank you thank you everyone